It's a staple of summer camp, gathering kids around a smoky fire. But instead of roasting marshmallows or telling ghost stories, these campers are melting down metal to make bullets. This mold here is for making Civil War musket balls. Producing projectiles may not be the typical children's camp activity, but it would have been a pretty common pastime for Davy Crockett, the famed frontiersman and the inspiration for this Minneapolis day camp. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. The four-day-long camp gives kids a chance to walk in Davy's shoes while donning replicas of the folk hero's legendary headwear. I'm wearing a coonskin cap that is, actual, that is an actual coon. Completely fake. Here is the proof that I have. If you look inside of it, you see this. This. Some campers debate the authenticity of their specific caps. Historians, however, have long questioned the validity of Davy's iconic image. Davy Crockett did not wear a coonskin hat until it became popularized in a play in his life. So as being a self-promoter, he started wearing the hat to promote himself, and that became part of the legend. Davy Crockett Camp, on the other hand, is known for its historical accuracy. It's held at Fort Snelling, a reconstructed 1820s military outpost, complete with reenactors. It's a setting where Davy Crockett would have felt right at home, and a place where campers can be immersed in his time period. It gets you out of what we can consider our modern world, see a little bit about where we as a, a people, a nation, a society have come from. Plus, there aren't too many places where you can go and play with a real cannon if you're a 10-year-old boy. Run that down the barrel. You're gonna get rid of the solid debris. The group's 14 boys learn to fire cannons, just like men yeah. in the Jacksonian era would have. Move, move. The main so, difference? The lack of actual cannon balls. <laughs> While some of the activities are modified for modern day Americans, others stay true to tradition. It just smells like you want to throw up. <laughs> smells like barf. It smells really bad. It is the odor of animals being skinned. Real, dead, previously frozen animals provided by the state's Department of Natural Resources. Here's the tummy. We're not going to go in there. That's it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> On this day, two rabbits and a raccoon go under the knife. Campers' reactions range from fascination to repulsion. It was pretty gross. And he accidentally cut his belly open, so a bunch of belly stuff came out. The skinning demonstration is more than just a way to torment today's preteens. It's also a lesson on life in the 1800s. It's a skill that was done a long time ago, not only Davy Crockett, but native people around here. You got to trap, you got to kill, you got to skin, you got to prepare. I'm so need to wash my hands now. Here we go, here we go. When not dissecting forest creatures, Campers gather for a game of rounders, a precursor to baseball, then learn how to shoot rubber band guns. This one's yours, and it's loaded. Thank you. Don't shoot anybody, okay? Well, I'm obviously not going to hand a real gun to a child for many reasons, but it's a way to um, kind of expose them to the idea of hunting with a gun, what Davy would have learned as being a soldier, because he was a soldier a number of times in his life. I like this time period a lot because of the muskets. I don't really like the future. Fire! Yes, it worked! We do a lot of really cool things like shoot rubber band guns and things that your parents probably would never let you do, so I think that's really cool. After gun training, campers head out on a decoy deer hunt. I shot all of those. What's up, guys? As they hike, some begin to ponder the drawbacks of frontier life. All the bugs, mosquitoes, flies. I just wouldn't want to eat the animals. No, like, lotion to make your skin not dry. Now, how heavy do you think a deer like this would be? Oh, so much heavier. Pounds? Like 100 pounds, maybe 120. It just seems kind of a tougher life than we have right now, so I mean, I mean I'm up for whatever, but I might want to live a little bit back here and then go back to a normal time. I can just go to the Target or something. Oh, I'd like some fish and I wouldn't actually have to fish for it. When I go home, I'm like, wow, you don't take anything, because many things are granted. 
There were, however, campers who viewed the era's hardships as opportunities for adventure, and they dreaded the approaching end of Davy Crockett Camp. I think I'd like to live in his time. You have to chop down trees for a cabin, hunt game, plant crops. You get to have the challenge of, because if you don't feed yourself, you're dead. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. One more time now.